It's time to defund NPR, National Public Radio. And for the record, I grew up listening to it. Whenever I would visit my grandparents in Schenectady, New York, God rest your souls, they would have it on NPR radio all the time. Da, 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 da. I still remember that emanating from the kitchen. So I used to be very pro NPR, especially when I was left of center. I used to get a lot of news and they had some interesting programming. Then they went woke and I very slowly and then rapidly just stopped listening them to them altogether, especially when they declared Hunter Biden laptop story to be essentially fake news and that they weren't going to any, lose any sleep over not reporting it. Then very recently you had somebody that's been working at NPR for 25 years come out and state how absolutely biased the company is. The company notes you. <laughs> they get a lot of private donations. Why should we as taxpayers be funding an ultra left wing agenda. He stated in his article that they did not want to report, for example, on the Hunter Biden laptop story because they thought it might help Donald Trump. Why should taxpayers be paying for total bias, especially because so many more people have voices than ever before because of YouTube and Rumble? The cost of making your voice heard is incredibly low. The price of an iPhone and maybe a microphone, internet connection, that is all. So what does NPR really provide except for swinging the electorate, swinging our thought process in the ultra liberal direction as they report on trans incidences from the viewpoint of trans activists this is what they are platforming there. There is absolutely no balance. And then this guy that reports on the transgressions of NPR gets suspended for five days without pay. And they say that he broke ethical guidelines and that he released the statistics of NPR watchers. Question, as a taxpayer, as a contributor to this organization, Aren't we owed this information upon request? How can this possibly be classified for them, for their eyes only? And here you have the current president of NPR coming out against the First Amendment. Watch. The number one challenge here that we, we see in, is, of course, the First Amendment in the United States pro, is a fairly robust um, right, uh, protection of rights. and. And that is a protection of rights, both for platforms, which I actually think is very important that platforms have those rights to be able to regulate what kind of content they want on their sites. But it also means that it is a little bit tricky to really address some of the real challenges of where does bad information come from and sort of the influence peddlers who have made a real market economy around it. This should absolutely get her fired. This is somebody who is using public airwaves to decry freedom of speech. And this is representative of the leftist elite, as they think of themselves, who believe that their viewpoints are the only ones that should be platformed and that everybody else should have their voices silenced. This is essentially what she is advocating. This is what all left-wing advocates are saying. If your views do not fall into our very narrow leftist Overton window, then you should be shut up immediately because you are disseminating false information, misinformation. The same thing that they were doing with the Hunter Biden laptop. Huh? 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 Does that not come back to bite you? This partisanship that is demonstrated in the column written by the NPR insider, who's now suspended, and you have this president of NPR against the First Amendment, why should your tax dollars be going to fund such an organization? Cut it out of the budget is a very simple request. I'm done with NPR, despite the fact that I grew up listening to it, despite the fact that they used to have interesting programming. I no longer want to fund something that can be easily, easily achieved on YouTube. And if they want to have private donations so that they can exercise their freedom of speech and spread their misinformation, then God bless. But that should not come from the taxpayers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you agree. Peace.